another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video we will be solving the problem word search so before we get started hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave me a comment of what your exercise you want me to solve and make a video about how i come up with the solution so without further ado let's get started the problem is that they given you a matrix of letters and they give you a task which is can you create a word using the letter inside the matrix with respecting one condition which is your letter cannot be reused again so in simple terms the word can be formed by combining letters from sequentially consecutive cells where adjacent cells are those that horizontally or vertically contiguous and also the same letter cell can only be used once so for example if we have this input of characters we can write it by going this way until C then down to C and so on so it's possible to write this input using the matrix of letters so to solve this problem we're going to use the deep first search algorithm we're going to start at the first cell of the grid in the first row and explore as far as possible along each row and column before backtracking and we're going to keep track of which elements we have visited so let's say we have this input of characters the first thing we're going to do is to calculate the dimension of board matrix means how many rows and columns we have inside the matrix why we do that is because we want to check if the deep first search function is out of the bound of the matrix so we can return false then we start our deep first search at the first cell of the grid means the first row and the first columns and we check if it's, it contains the first letter so here the first cell contained the first letter of the input which is a before we move to searching for the second letter we're gonna replace the current character in the board matrix with the character v means visited then the the deep first search function make a recursive call to search for the next character in the word string in each of the four cardinal direction up down left and right so here we cannot go up or left direction because we're gonna be out of the board matrix so we go down or right down it's not the character that we are searching for so at the right the first function find out for us the letter that we are looking for and we mark it as a visited letter and move to search for the next letter so the deep first search function repeat the same process so we found the letter at the right so we mark it as visited and recursively call the deep first function to move for searching for the next letter so the letter is found at down also the next letter gonna be found at down the last letter gonna be found at the left so after all recursive call have completed the deep first search restored the original character in the board by assigning the value in cache back to the current position in the board and we return the result of the search which is a boolean indicating whether a match is found in her we found the characters inside the matrix which is gonna be returned a boolean of true there is a case when we'll check all the surrounding cells and no one of them will contain the next letter of the board let's say we have this input matrix we are searching for this word inside the matrix we'll start with a we found it also b we found it and also c but then we will try to look up or try to search for the next letter we will not find it and all direction possible up down left right so what are we gonna do we're gonna stop a return false and if we have checked all the surrounding cells and no one of them contain the next letter of the word we will backtrack to the previous cell and try a different path and if the first cell does not contain the letter we will move to the, the next cell and repeat the same process and so on until we have checked all the possible paths and have not found the word we will return false to indicate that the word does not exist in the grid that's it guys so let's jump at coding the solution the first step we're gonna do is to determine the dimension of the board by calculating the number of rows and columns then we're gonna initialize a function that will be used to perform the deep first search for the board inside the matrix so the deep first search take three parameters the row and columns the row index and column index and the unaccount variable that's going to be the current index and the word we, so the first thing we're going to do inside the deep first function is that we're going to check if the current row or column index is out of the bound or if the character at the current position in the board does not match the character at the current index in the word string so if any of this condition are true we return 
false and also we check if the count is equal to the length of word string minus one means that we have found a match of all the characters and the word string so the deferred search function return true if none of the above condition are true the deferred function stores the current character in the board and a variable called cache it then replaces the current character in the board with v, with a letter v to mark it as a visitor so the deep first function make a recursive call to search for the next character in the word string inside the matrix with the help of this four cardinal direction up down left right and it does it by calling the deep first function with the updated row and column indices and the count incremented by one so after all the recursive call have completed the deep first search function restores the original character in the board by assigning the value and cache back to the current position in the board it then returned the result of search which is a boolean indicating whether a match was found finally we use the any function to evaluate the differs function for every position in the board and return true if uh, if any of these calls return true otherwise it returned false So the time complexity is O of R times C, where R is the rows and C is the columns of the matrix. It's because we are iterating throughout the rows and columns in the matrix multiple times. And the space complexity is O of 1 because there is no data structure created during the execution. The only variable that needs memory is the count variable which represents the current position in the world. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.